I hope the White House is listening today. Inflation is no laughing matter. Rising energy prices, Madam Secretary, is no laughing matter. Rising energy prices create social inequities. They are a social injustice, and they're certainly not a laughing matter. I want to bring this home and talk about propane just for a second. Rural America is powered on propane. It's what we use to heat our homes, to heat our water, to cook our food on. I had my propane tank filled on our very modest three-bedroom, one-bathroom home, about a 1,500-square-foot home was filled this week. When you fill a, a tank with propane, it's a 500-gallon tank. It's about 10 foot long, maybe 4 foot across. Last year, I paid $1.10 a gallon. Yesterday, I paid $2.15 a gallon. So it went from $1.10 to $2.15 a gallon. Last year, I filled my propane tank for $550. Yesterday, it cost me $1,275. If we have a modest winter, that propane will get us through maybe February or March. I want to talk about propane a little further. Propane is made from crude oil or natural gas. And anything that affects the supply of crude oil or natural gas to get to the refiner is going to drive the price of that up. I hope that makes sense. You know, Dr. Brassel and I went to medical school. We didn't get PhDs in, in economics, but my, high, my college track coach taught me Econ 101. And what he said is the supply goes down, the price is going to go up. Why does this White House want to drive the prices up? Think about their policies that are driving the price up. Number one is going on back home. We can't get financing to drill. Folks that have been in the drilling industry, natural gas oil for decades, for over a half a century, can't get financing now because of this administration's ESG rules. Uh, you know, beyond that, they're setting up rules to make it harder to build new pipelines. They're making it next to impossible to drill offshore. They're making it next to impossible to drill on government lands. There's not a person in America that can sit up here and look you in the eye and say that does not increase the supply of energy. And when you decrease the supply of energy, it's going to drive the cost up. It's just that simple. Last winter, Kansas, Oklahoma, and Texas had a large winter storm called, called uh, Erie, Uri, Winter Storm Uri. Winter Storm Uri claimed hundreds of lives. Most of those people were on the margins, right? Another social inequity, another social injustice created by policies. And that's what's going to happen this winter. We're going to have brownouts. There's going to be a decrease of, short, of, of supply of energy creating brownouts. It's going to, people are going to die. Thousands of people will die this winter because of this White House's energy policies. That's a social injustice. It's social inequity. Madam Secretary, rising energy prices are not a laughing matter.